In this video we will be creating this progress bar animation that you see on the screen. Let's go. Okay, so first off we create a new composition. We'll change the name of this to loading bar. We'll be using test settings, click OK. And then we'll turn on the title action save so that we can align things better here. Go to pen tool, change the stroke size to 100 and make sure that you don't have any type of fill here. So click once and then click once more while holding shift so it's a straight line. We can press Ctrl Alt Home to center the anchor point of this and select the layer, press Enter, rename this to Bar. We'll go to Align Panel and align this to the center. And now we can make sure that you don't select anything here. Go to Rectangle Tool, change the stroke size to 5. And we'll just draw a rectangle like that. We can rename this to bar edges. Go to a line panel and just align this to the center as well. Close the settings, go to bar settings here. Go to add and add trim pass. Open the settings for trim pass and set a keyframe on end. Change it to zero here at the beginning and go to two seconds. Change it to 100. Let's have a look. We can close the title action save. We have this type of animation, but this is boring, so we'll select the keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease and go to graph editor. If your graph editor doesn't look like this, right click and check edit speed graph. And just adjust the curves like so, so that it starts fast and then gets slow at the end. We have this type of animation. We can turn on the motion blur for this so that it has some type of blur to it. And now we wanna select horizontal type tool, click here once, leave it as empty. So select the layer, go to effects and presets, type in slider control, double click on it to add. We'll open the settings go to text settings leave it open here go to effects open the settings for effects slider control leave it open as well and we'll alt click on source text we want to add an expression alt click on this and then just parent this to slider and just type in this expression so go to the beginning and i'll leave it for you to see and now we have our slider here close the settings and I'll just move this here somewhere around here we can turn on the title action save if you want to so turn it up now I'll leave it here so now we can set a keyframe on this as well here we have slider control set a keyframe here at the beginning go to two seconds and change it to 100 so press u to view the keyframes this will not match with the bar that we have here so we'll select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease and just do the same adjustment like we've done before and there you go.